All right, so uh, just spent a little time on the bike today. Um, managed to get the headlight uh, bracket bent back the proper way. Got all that reassembled, put all the junk inside and uh, reconnected it and that's all put back together. I went to the store, got some new uh, spark plugs to put in to see if that'll give me any better luck with it starting. And I also uh, got a new uh, UASA battery instead of one of the Energizer piece of junk that was in there that didn't seem to hold the charge at all. So we'll see if I get any better luck starting it. Uh, I can give that a shot in just a second. And then uh, we'll see what we got here. Let me uh, pan around here and you can see what I got going on. Let's see. So you can see the front end is all reassembled. Um, Everything turned out really nice. The uh, Everything's aligned properly now. And it just looks a heck of a lot better, I think. Um, in regards to uh, the uh, rest of the bike, everything's kind of where it's at, except for the new battery and the plugs. You can see I've got my uh, cardboard mat down here for when I start, if it does start, because the darn thing leaks oil. Um, but we'll give it a shot here. Let me just uh, go over and I can show you the uh, new battery as well. You just see that guy right there. Fits a lot better too. The uh, the Energizer one was actually a lot taller and barely fit underneath that that uh, top frame bar there. So it's uh, nice to have the actual OEM size spec one in there. Let's go ahead and give this thing a shot, see if we can't uh, give her a start, see if it'll kick over. The battery is pretty charged, I just put it off the battery tender, but uh, it it does make make it ironic that I did add the headlight on there, so now there'll be more draw for that going in. But let's uh, see if we can't get this thing to fire up. Normally it does, it seems a little sluggish. It is on choke, it's on prime. Let's see if I can just. some issues with uh, getting a thing to start but uh, you know one thing at a time I'm gonna probably take the cover off check the points um, an unrelated note I am going to also probably I've got this stock seat which is an ugly king and queen deal you know that came with it but uh, it does have a little tear in it I'll probably take the cover off and try and repair that just to get some practice. You know, maybe somebody could use this at some point uh, if I decide to ditch it. So, the next two things on the list, check the points clearance and uh, see how those look. And, you know, hopefully we'll get this thing to run and I can get it idling properly shortly. So I did just realize something that uh, also means I'm an idiot and it also pays to check things a little bit more often. Uh, you can see here it helps to start your bike if you've got the F and spark plug wires hooked up. So <laughs> let me just go ahead and plug those damn things in. Now we'll just give it one more shot here.
Alright man, we're gonna take a pause if I can open the garage door because I don't want to smoke myself out. You see we're just having one hell of a windy effing day out here. Also there's a house that's popped up behind our garage now. Kind of new. But uh... See if I can't get this thing to go now. And I've got uh, also I did put in uh, the you know, trying to adjust the draw idle speed while I'm at it here. Let's see. have so much time with this battery the way it is um, you know it draws it out pretty good when I try to start it let me just give it one more shot here and then I might have to throw it on the charger Throw it on the charger, and you know it seems to be starting a lot more readily with the new plugs. Um, I just got to get that idle figured out. Once it gets down to about 2,000 RPMs, you know, I run out of uh, play in the throttle, and it just drops off and dies. So we'll see what's going on. Um, hopefully, I'll have some answers soon. <laughs> 